What's up? It's Dan the Dang coming at you with another update. Uh, just trying to catch up with everybody. I know it's been a while. It's been a few years, you know. Uh, been a lot of ups and downs, a lot of moving around, but I'm still out here, still kicking. Um, we trucking now. Uh, I work for a mega carrier out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, I ain't gonna put them on blast, but you could always Google it, and uh, it's not it's not too hard to figure out who I work for. Big red trucks. We're all over the country, all over the 48 states. Uh, only places they haven't seen me yet is like Rhode Island, Connecticut, Maine. But I've been everywhere else, you know. I'm usually in the Midwest, usually around Texas. Um, I'm in and out of Oklahoma, in and out of Utah a lot. I haven't been to the West Coast in a while. got an opportunity. So I uh, picked up a load in Washington and took it. Uh, over here to Wisconsin where I'm currently at right now I'm sitting in a hotel room uh, just chilling making videos it's a little soft introduction to uh, you know the content to come so the channel's changing up a little bit I still got a lot of my contacts in the cannabis industry but I'm no longer consuming cannabis or growing cannabis I know it's a huge change uh, from my previous years but you know we get into the money now so yeah, I just wanted to kind of share some of my travels with y'all, share some of the scenery, uh, especially coming out of the West. Uh, there's a lot of beautiful places. Uh, I had never been through Montana, so this was cool. I'm leaving Montana and going into Northern Idaho off of I-94. And uh, I'm, in this video, I'm just getting my day started, did my pre-trip, all that, and now we're just sitting in the mountains. Being real cautious, you know what I'm saying? Because there is ice on the road, it's super dangerous. Uh, but they got a pretty good training program over there where I work. So if you're interested in getting your CDL, hit me up in the DM. I'll, I'll, I'll link you in. You can use my driver code as a reference, D-Box. You know what I'm saying? For a little kickback. But uh, yeah, man. We just been making music. You know, shout out to Cedar Creek Productions. Shout out to my boy Skippy CeeLo. Uh, shout out to shout out to my boy Skinny Tarzan. Uh, shout out Slow Mo, you know, the whole team uh, holding me down. They made all this possible. Um, got a new song out on iTunes. I don't know if you're on Spotify and everywhere else. They stream music. I don't know if you heard about it. Texas Tears. Go ahead and go over there and give it a listen. Damn Dollar on on, on those platforms. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. So let's get into it. Yeah, so in this clip, uh, we basically made the grade down the mountain. Um, and we inching closer towards the northern Idaho border on I-94. Uh, road conditions looking better. Um, still got to watch out for black ice and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, keep your eyes on your tandems and all that good stuff. Uh, real comprehensive training program over there where I work. Uh, I know a lot of people are apprehensive about driving a semi, but it's a great career. Um, and, yeah, there was, a, there was a couple things going on in my life that made me transition into this. Uh, I chose this as a profession. Uh, it just seemed like a good fit for my situation at the moment. So I definitely uh, am very appreciative of the company I work for, and uh, they, they do right by me most of the time. <laughs> but um, this is probably the best part of the job is, is all the scenery, especially the scenery in the Pacific Northwest. If you dig the mountains and the trees, uh, it's the place to be for sure. And I believe, I don't know if I stated earlier, but this is, I believe this is the St. Regis region. And uh, I'll definitely work on my camera skills and invest in trying to get uh, some stabilizing equipment and all that. Um, I'm shooting this off my phone, off my 13 Pro Max iPhone. You know, man, if you ain't got an iPhone by now, I don't know what to tell you. Like, <laughs> I, I've never been an Android person. I actually got an Apple tattoo on my on my left hand. So, sipping a little drink over here. Nothing alcoholic. Yeah, man, that's CDL life. Sober life. Um, we kick back whenever we take vacation, which I got some home time coming up. I've uh, been on the road for, since my last home time, I've been on the road for about a month and a half or so. Uh, I'm going to pop up in Tulsa for Valentine's Day. So if you if you out in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you subscribe to Day of the Day, hit me, man. We can link for sure. 
But yeah. A lot of my a lot of my homies and friends, they also drive CDL. They got relatives that drive CDL and uh they put me on. They put me on. Uh I was driving Lyft, driving cab, also you know, stay hustling, stay getting money. Um But yeah. I'm gonna just let this ride out to the music. Man, any questions, comments, concerns, throw it down in the comments. Just down to dank. Let me know what you think. I'm out. <laughs>